Hi everyone, um, my name's Lucy. I'm a mixed media artist and collage artist from Northampton in the UK. Um, in the video I'm going to show um, how to do some transfers on your jelly plate. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, the video. I also show some examples of how I've used them in my artwork. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Okay, let's get on with the video. So first I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm going to use today to do this image transfer. I've got my 8 by 10 gel plate um, and my brayer. I've got this pad of paper which I'm using as rolling my brayer off. Um, <clears throat> I've got some paint which I'm going to mix on the plate to make my dark colour for the transfer. Um, got going to pick up one of them with this really cheap hobby craft pale pink, barely pink paint. And I'm going to pull another image off the plate with some matte medium. Um, this is my first image. It's geometric pattern. Uh, the lines are quite thick. You need a good contrast, high contrast, black and white image. This is my um, done on my very cheap laser printer. Um, it should transfer pretty well. And I'm going to transfer that onto just another plain piece of copy paper. This is my second image, which is black and white image of a photo that I took of a post box in this in the village. I'm going to try and transfer that one onto a wet strength tissue paper. I'm going to mix my dark colour on the plate. Might need a little bit more than that, but we'll see as we go. And with these two colours, phthalo, turquoise and burnt orange, make a really nice dull green, desaturated green. And you can see it's really nice and dark. I think that's quite actually quite a good amount for doing a transfer. Get it a nice even coating over the plate. I'm going to put my image on. And then I'm going to rub quite gently. You want good contact of the paper with the plate. But if you press too hard, the um, black areas of toner will also pick up the paint. What you want to do is the toner to resist and leave you a beautiful image transferred from there onto there. Now, we need to wait for this to dry and you can test by sticking your finger on and you can see I've picked up some of the paint there on that one. I tend to go for the areas where there's a splodge it's quite dry, but it's not perfect yet. So I'm going to leave it for a minute or two and then come back. I'll let you know how long I left it. Okay, so I've literally left that about a minute, if that, and now when I touch it, it's not bringing up any of the paint. So I'm gonna pick up this image using a very thin layer of this Hobbycraft paint. The key to this layer is even coverage and it should be quite a thin layer. You just roll it out and I think you can see on the video 
that you can see some of the pattern underneath through the paint, through the pink paint. And that's a good sh uh, sign that you've got the right amount of paint to pick up the image. So I've just put my copy of paper down on top. I'm giving it a good, good rub to get the paper attached. Now my next tip is, if you want to make sure, I mean, I could pull this up straight away. You can see in the corner, the image has already started to transfer to the paper. But I can feel, and you can see on the back, probably not on the video, but um, the paper, because it's quite thin, is wrinkling a bit. And that's because the paint is still wet. So if I want to make sure I pick up everything off the plate, the best thing to do is to let this completely dry and you know when it's dry because it doesn't feel cool anymore it just feels like your regular paper so I'm going to leave that now for another minute or two to fully dry okay it's been um, a couple of minutes now and I can feel the paper is possibly still a little bit damp but it is definitely feeling a lot drier than it was so we're going to take the image Pull the image up now and I'll pull it this way so you can see as I go. And we've got a nice clean plate actually. A little bit of pink remaining on the plate. And there's our beautifully transferred image. And I love that I had some paint still left on the plate from using it yesterday. And actually still in this green colour so it goes really well and has made this image nice and windy and I really love that and I'll use that in a collage. Okay so the next um, next one I'm going to do is transfer this photo onto some wet strength tissue. But I'm going to use the same colour combination because I've got it out and I know that when I do a transfer with these colours you can see what's happening on the plate on the video. Again, a bit more paint on the plate for transferring the image than we use for picking up the image. And if you swirl your bray around, this mixes the paint really nicely. So you're not left with spots everywhere. Of course, if you want that effect, that's fine. I think I might have used a little bit too much paint this time. So I'm just gonna roll a bit off and come back and keep going. It still feels a bit slippy. You could see my brayer was sliding a bit. This is better now. So I can feel my brayer rolling. A nice even layer. image goes down again very gently got quite a big area of black and I want to try and get as much of that to stay on the plate as possible pick it up oh yes that's really good I'm very happy with that you can see I'll turn it round so you can see I've got the nice crown and the lettering and again, you could, possibly, the paint is still wet, so I could put my tissue paper directly on top of this and pull, pull it up straight away. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I want to make sure I get all of this off the plate. So I'm going to do the same method as with the pink pickup paint last time, except this time, because I'm putting it on tissue paper, and I want the white areas to be transparent when I collage that onto a painting. So I'm going to pull it up onto tissue paper with matte medium. So let me see how dry this is. Yeah, it's fairly dry actually. Make sure my brayer is dry because
if there's wet paint on my brayer when I roll the matte medium out, it will um, slightly tinge the colour of the whole plate. So I want my brayer to be dry as well as the paint. I'm just rolling that up off under here because this paint's probably wet on the top. So that's nice and dry. Let's put some of this on. I probably might have got a bit too much there. We'll see how we go. Now it's rolling nicely. I've been working a lot with my smaller plates, so judging the amount of paint and medium required when you move from one to the other can be a bit tricky. Okay, that's nice. Again, just try and get it rolled out nice and evenly. And then I'm going to get my tissue paper down. It's got a few wrinkles in it. I don't mind about that. And again, if you want to make sure you get all the paint up, you should leave it to dry before pulling it up. Have a look. Let's just pull it up straight away and see what we get. Because So you can see here, some of the paint is not pulling up. I'm going to press that down again. definitely needs to dry so I'll leave it to dry and come back when it's done. So while we're waiting for this to dry I'm going to just move it over there and I'm going to show you some of the things that I do with um, image transfers. So this is um, a piece that I've made completely uh, on a piece of paper like this on the, my six inch gel plate. This is a six inch cradled panel and um, I used um, masks and a stencil to make, be able to make the areas of my painting different. And you can see here how I've used an image transfer on the bottle, uh, this kind of spotty cross pattern. And just about see the image transfer of swirls on the top very faint because it was a very thin pattern that I transferred but I think it works beautifully. So that's how I use it directly on gel prints that I make wholly on the plate and then mount onto cradle panel. This one is um, a painting it started off with some mark making on a piece of a large piece of paper which I've subsequently cut up and the water glass that I've got on this one you can see these dark outlines um, maybe some of the patterns up here and uh, that was um, an image transfer onto tissue paper that I've collaged on top of this painting and um, finally I've just got this collage to show you that I did in my sketchbook and one day I was uh, trying some transfers. So this, this transfer was done with a piece of patterned paper printed out and I used uh, white paint to transfer the black lines from the image. And then I picked it up with a black paint. And then I have um, picked it up directly into the sketchbook and have collaged on top of that. So this is going to be dry now. I can feel it's dry actually. So let's try pulling this up. Where there are wrinkles, there's probably going to be some left plate uh, paint left on the plate. But as you can see, that's coming up really nicely.
and my image is transferred beautifully. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video. Bye.